Hello everyone. When you use Cypress and you don't know the data that you are testing, then you have to extract it from the page. In this example, we have HTML where there are two scores. We don't know the exact scores, but we know that the first one, in this case 60, should be below the second one, in this case 81. Every time the task has to extract something from the page, it's not ideal. And in Cypress, you have to extract it from the page and pass it to the sci then command. For example, I'm getting all the elements with class score. I'm getting the first element out of this list. I'm invoking text and converting it to an integer before I pass it to sci then as score A. Then, inside this callback, pun intended, we extract the second score and convert to integer. So we have one then callback inside another then callback. In that final inner callback function, we have access to both score A and score B as closure variables, and we can write an assertion. There is a better way to flatten all these nested callbacks, and that's through use of aliases. So once we extract the first score, let's save it as an alias score A. We don't need to grab it right away. We can extract the second score and save it as another ls score b. Now notice we flattened the callbacks. We no longer are nesting the callbacks. But how do we use score a and score b? We can say psi and literally just use a single callback psi then. And instead of accessing the closure argument, we can say this. Unfortunately, this doesn't work with error functions, so we have to use an explicit function syntax. Every Cypress alias saved using sci as command will be available inside the callback function format under a property of this context object. So this score A will be whatever we stored right here. And score B will be this dot score B. Same thing, Cypress shows every time it says an alias the command log name, and we only have one level deep callbacks. You can use multiple uh, chains of commands to extract multiple pieces of information and then grab all of them in a final sci then function callback. 